Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. <laughs> oh my god, it's me again. Yes, with another FPS guide. How boring. I know, but our boys need help. Our Fortnite boys need help. And I might need some money. Anyways, this is probably going to be my last Fortnite video for the current season. But yeah, not that I did many videos anyways. But this one was quite requested, trust me. In the season 7, reason being is that everything is snowy and foggy. And all these new particles drop a bunch of FPS and it's like horrible. And since I got a very good feedback on my other FPS guys. I mean, I thought I'd just make another one. Oh my god, I haven't done this in a while. So we have an FPS guide for Fortnite Season 7, obviously. I'm not going to talk much, I want to get straight to the point. But before I do, if your PC is like really bad and you cannot pull off at least 40 FPS, I'm going to tell you, do not even attempt this because it's probably not going to improve your FPS by a lot. Maybe by like 10, but then again, who knows, I don't know. Let's switch it up to the desktop. Now that we are on the desktop, first things first we see is that I don't have a wee picture, surprisingly. Why is that? It's because I'm finally reforming my boys. Yes, I'm no longer a weeb, I give up. Anyways, second thing is that we can notice that, oh my god, I always say this first, but we can notice that my Discord is running. And the thing about Discord is that it takes a lot of your computer's memory, especially if you're voice chatting or if you're in a lot of active servers. Reason I'm putting this as a number one thing in each and every one of my videos is because everyone is using Discord lately and it's surely a great way to talk, voice chat and so on. But you already kind of have a quite functional voice chat in the game with almost the same quality. So what I'd really advise you to do is either completely turn off Discord, which will definitely give your FPS a great benefit or disable hardware acceleration and the overlay. The way we're going to do that is we're going to open up our Discord. Oh, my server opened. Definitely not an advertisement. What an accident. We're going to go to user settings all the way down here. And now we're going to be in the options. Here in the options, first things first, we're going to disable our overlay. The way we're going to do that is click on overlay thing right here and just click enable in-game overlay uh, click on this little button right here until it turns gray as you saw um, afterwards we're going to want to click on appearance scroll down until we see this hardware acceleration as you guys can see here it says turns on hardware acceleration which uses your gpu to make discord smoother turn this off if you're experiencing fps drops in games which we are so we're just going to turn that off and this will say changing the hardware acceleration settings will quit and relaunch the discord if you want to do this and you're going to click on yes so that was that that's how you do it now the game should be getting more fps but as i said to really maximize this effect i'd suggest totally disabling discord and only then you'll start to notice a bigger difference in your frame rate now before we mess with the game settings and custom resolutions we'll optimize our windows to run much faster let's get straight to it okay so first things first we're going to click on our Windows Explorer tab. This works on Windows 7 or Windows XP, on any kind of Windows basically. Now on the My Computer, we're going to right click and click on Properties right here. This should open this big page named System, and we're going to click on Advanced System Settings. This should open a little pop-up window right here. We can close the other thing already. And under the Performance, we'll see Settings here. Basically what we're going to do is decrease our visual um, uh, aesthetics I guess I don't know whatever our visual appearance um, and adjust it for the better performance so you're going to click on adjust for best performance and click on OK on the Windows 10 as you guys can see there is not much decrease in our visual um, appearance but performance is kind of increased which is definitely a good thing next thing we're going to Click on the search, the web thing, on the search bar and type in power. This should bring us to the power options right here. We're going to click on that. And the mine is already in high performance, but basically by the default, your system will be on balanced, I believe. And um, right here, there should be power saver. Um, the way you're going to get this high performance tab is clicking here on show additional plans. So you're going to click here and high performance should be right there for you. You're going to click on high performance and that's about it. You can go ahead and close this. 
There you go, that was one of the ways to boost your system's performance. The second way would be to delete things you do not need. This one was pretty obvious, I don't need to show you how to do it. But as I said, the less things you have on your PC, the faster it is going to run. And pretty much video games are giant nowadays, like we're talking minimum 40 gigs. So I'd suggest to delete video games you do not play or movies you watch that you don't need anymore. Practically anything you do not need anymore. The third step, and possibly very crucial one, is to scan your PC and get rid of the viruses. Some viruses can have an insane effect on your computer, there's also a bunch of Bitcoin miners and so on, and if your PC has suddenly slowed down, or your Fortnite is suddenly getting um, laggy, a good idea would be to download Malwarebytes, it's one of the best antiviruses out there, and it's free, so yeah, easy deal. Afterwards, just proceed to scan your PC, get those viruses out of the way, and pretty much delete the antivirus itself, if you're confident enough in your security, of course. And it's finally the time for us to get a custom resolution on Fortnite. Reason why we are doing this in the first place is because in the menu, the preset resolutions already are very um, requiring. They're all HD, and you cannot really... Um, run your Fortnite properly with those resolutions if you have a bad PC. The way we're going to do that is in our search bar type percentage, app data, percentage. Uh, we're gonna get here, we're gonna click on app data right there. Click on local. Here we should find Fortnite game. We're gonna click on it, saved. Um, afterwards proceed to config, Windows client, and we're going to find game user settings. Now the best thing before touching this option would be to make a backup. So the way we're going to do that is just copy game user settings and copy it on the desktop. Um, just uh, rename it to backup and put it right there. Um, you're going to click on game user settings. This thing should open. You're going to scroll down until you see um, resolution size X and resolution size Y and last user confirmed resolution blah 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 so it's gonna be right here basically uh, you don't really have to scroll that much down you'll find this now these are the resolutions that you can see on the right that uh, are recommended for the use and they're actually playable so I'm going to show you how to change uh, a resolution to your desired one so you can either use this one the one that I'm using right now or 800 by 600 I'm just gonna change it to 800 by 600 so I can show you how to do it resolution size X you're gonna put 800 and on Y 600 and same thing down here and make sure to put last confirmed full screen mode uh, one and preferred full screen mode one uh, you're going to click on X and click on save afterwards after you did that game now should have a custom full screen resolution which will probably not make the game look the best but at least you'll get a massive increase in performance now let's quickly jump into the game to change our settings and pretty much get ready to play there as you guys can see the game doesn't look the best but as I said in order to play at the better performance, you really have to sacrifice the quality. Now we're going to open our settings, and this is pretty standard, but in case you guys did not know, um, just open the settings right here, um, and we're going to play around with the settings we have. So on the show FPS, make sure it's on so you can see your FPS improvements. Monitor blur, make sure it's off because it will decrease your FPS. Same with the V-Sync. Post processing, um, low as well effects low textures low well, everything basically low right here and the view distance make sure to be near now the 3d resolution um basically if you have a better performance like if you have no issues whatsoever being at for example 68 percent make sure to increase it so at least you can see something for example i can increase it to till right about there so i can kind of see things but as I said, um, in case you are still experiencing FPS issues while being at 95%, make sure to lower it down and lower it down until you are pretty much good to go. So that was that guys, hope you enjoyed this FPS guide, there is no way this won't increase your in-game performance since we made some changes to our system 
and kind of drastic changes to the game as well. As you guys can see, game obviously looks like shit, but that's the whole point. And it also might put you at a disadvantage because you won't be able to see that well in the distance and so on. But it is what it is. It is the only way. If you guys have some suggestions, leave it down in the comments below. And if this doesn't work for you, nothing will. Trust me, like literally nothing. So yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching and peace out everyone.